I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open and in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to. So, got your book open in front of you? Are your answers in capitals? Want to know why the answers are the answers? Then let's go. For question number one, let's have a quick analysis of the context. We're talking about speed dating. And of course, when you're talking about speed dating, you're talking about people talking to each other. And listen to what I just said there, people talking to each other. So that means that we can't say each for this answer because the word that follows is another. We can't say each another. So what can we say before another? Of course, you can say one. Uh, speed daters only talk to one another dot dot dot. For question number two, once again, have a look at the context. The context is basically saying that the time is enough for the people to decide that they don't want to see each other in the future anymore. In other words, that the relationship probably has no future. So how can we express this? Which word do we need uh, given the language pattern that we're presented with? Of course, the answer is further. You don't want to take the relationship any further. In other words, you don't want to do it anymore. For question number three, all we need here is the preposition to fill in the short little phrase. A matter plus preposition, the preposition is of. So it could be a matter of seconds, a matter of hours, a matter of days, whatever it is, a matter of. For question number four, the context here is basically saying that speed dating is getting into the boardroom and scientific conference. I think that's right, yes, scientific conference. So we need to find a way of saying getting into or being located within. Of course, the word that we're looking for is way, to find your way into something. For question number five, here we need to turn to our very trusted and very often seen preposition, which goes on to explain something, which is exactly what it's doing here. It says, uh, not, uh, a means for business people and scientists to find their soulmates, but as an efficient and fun way of generating ideas. So what we're doing is explaining. The preposition that we need to help us explain things is, of course, as. For question number six, what we need here is the correct quantifier to quantify other people, given the context. And the context tells us that we're not talking about many other people, but rather a few other people. Question number seven, what do we need here? We need a preposition of location. And to be honest, we don't see this preposition of location very often. In fact, in all of the exercises that I've done for all of the course books that we've covered on Cram the Exam, this is probably the first time I've seen this preposition of location. Boring little piece of trivia, but interesting for me. Uh, the preposition that we need here is next. You put a tick next to something. For question number eight, once again, if we turn to context, we can see that the basic the, the basic sentence is saying it's everything to do with something. Uh, so what do we need here? Well, we need the preposition to complete the phrase to mean exactly that. And of course, the preposition that we need is about. They say it's all about dot, 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 dot. 